Here with defensive coordinator Tommy Restival for South Carolina State. Coach, had spring, had the preseason. When you look at this defense, is it close to where, – where, where are they at right now in terms of your expectations? Uh, we still got some ways to go, but we have a week, week and a half prepared for Benedict, and we're on the right path, but we still got some things we got to work on and continue to work technique and fundamentals. When you first came in, you talked about fundamentals. Just have – since the spring going into the preseason, have the players gotten that message or it still takes some time in terms of getting them to understand what you want? Are they better than what they were in the spring? I would say yes. Uh, are the kids trying to ask what we're trying to tell them to do? Yes. Um, but when I talk about technique, fundamentals, proper steps, proper hand placement, you know, reading your keys, um, you know, we just got to continue to get better at that, which we are. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you try to add in terms of when you look at the defense, they were ranked first in four cat defensive categories. What do you try to add, or is it just a case if it's not broke, don't try to t tinker with it? Oh, I mean, last year was last year. They had great defense, and I'm not taking anything away from it at all. I mean, it's a new season. We haven't played one down. We haven't had one sack, one TFL. No tackles have been made. Uh, you know, what we have to do right now is just prepare for Benedict and kind of move on. You know, a little bit different scheme what they ran last year, but you know, football is football. You got to win your one-on-one -on -one matchups. You look at the defensive line, talent-wise. Just how would you measure that compared to some of the places you've been at? I mean, this D line is pretty athletic. They can run. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm excited at what we have up front. I mean, it's a veteran group. I expect big things out of them, and, and I know they'll produce once once we hit game day. Look at linebackers, you lose the defensive player of the year and Joe Thomas. Um, how are guys that are returning, how have they been able to fill that void? I mean, it's a work in progress. Obviously, I mean, they're going to continue to grow and develop as players. Uh, you know, we only have one senior in that group, and we build some leadership in that group, and, and that's going to be the biggest thing for those guys, just continue to build on it each day, getting better and better and better. Well, you lost two players in the secondary to graduation, and then you have Stephen Murphy's status or something in the air. Just as a secondary in all highs, that, how have they looked? They've come a long way from the spring. Um, you know, we got some young guys back there that haven't played any, any football one, one bit. Um, and, you know, we're going to have to work through some of those kinks in that, in that process of, of those guys back there. Um, I know we're going to have some, some MAs and some mental errors in the first couple games just because they're, they're so new. And, you know, what helps you is the front up, the front four up front. Just looking at terms of um, what would you consider to be a successful season for this group? Successful season? Well, I tell them, I preach them all the time. I want to run into the football. I want a great tackling team, a great technique, fundamentally and sound football team. That's, that's what I'm looking for. They run to the ball, relentless effort. And, of course, looking at the games they lost last year against, basically lost against four ranked teams, what's it going to take for them to get to that next level to be able to overcome the Coastals, the bethune Cookmans, um, the Furmans? You know, it's just the process of each day come out of practice or every meeting and, and take it like it's the last meeting, last practice. They got to just get better each day and, and work on their fundamentals, techniques. That's what we're stressing as defense staff and as coaching staff. Um, I mean, that, that's the biggest thing it comes down to. We can't worry about what Coastal or what we did last year. We just have to build off what we did last year and continue to get better. 